So today I'm gonna to answer the question that I get asked most often, and that is which sandbag should I buy first? So you're interested in using a sandbag, training with a sandbag, or you follow our programming in which we use sandbags at least a couple times a week, and you wanna be able to follow along and you wanna get a sandbag, which one should you get? So I have several sandbags here from small to large. Um, this is a kettlebell sandbag. It's much like a kettlebell. We can load these up from about 25 to 40 pounds and use it like a kettlebell. Uh, this is a brute ball. It's just a, a, a ball shaped bag, no handles. And we load that up from about uh, 70 to 120 pounds. And then we have smaller bags here. This is loaded up at 35. This is another small one with 40 pounds. And then uh, this one here is a medium bag and that's from 50 to 75 pounds, I would call medium. And then these are the heavy bags, uh, what I would call heavy, uh, 95 pounds and 120 pounds. So which one should you get first? Easily, I would gonna recommend the medium. So for sure, I recommend getting the medium size bag first. So if you're buying Rogue, this is a medium bag. If it's brute force, this is the athlete sandbag and you load this up from about 50 to 70 pounds. And why not just buy a big bag? Some people will think, oh, I'll just buy a large bag. I can load it up light I can, and then I can put more if I want. Um, the problem with the large bag, if you're only gonna load 50 to 70 pounds, you end up with a lot of slack. It's really floppy, it's really loose. It's, it's not really user friendly. Um, when you load 50 to 70 in this bag, uh, it, it fills it out nicely and it makes it easy to use. Now, why do I recommend this medium? because you can perform most of the movements that you're going to want to do uh, that are unique to sandbag training. A lot of throws, a lot of tosses, uh, pretty much anything you'll do with a barbell, cleans, jerks, snatches, squats. Uh, when you get into some of the larger and heavier sandbags, uh, it gets a little difficult to do some of those safely. So those are the reasons that I recommend buying this medium or athlete size sandbag. I hope that helps you out. I hope you get one and train with us. If you have any questions, uh, just hit me up. Uh, please comment and share this video. Thank you, and I hope to help you out more in the future. Thanks.